going to start a little segment now on going back to some uh, filleting with the System 3's Easy Fillet. I like to use this product. It's a, a wood filled epoxy and it comes pre-mixed with all the magic stuff in it. You don't have to have a, use some kind of formula you download it off the internet to uh, figure out what to put together to get you a strong uh, structural, and I mean strong structural fillet. You'll need the Easy Fillet. The way I do it is I I bag the fillet in a, in a can, get you an old metal can and a bunch of lightweight plastic bags that don't have the uh, pleats in the corner, just plain old straight bags with a point. That's pretty important in order to get the stuff to come out the right, right hole. Uh, I like to have three separate mixing sticks. Uh, one to go in part A, one to go in part B, and then one to mix them up with. That way I'm not contaminating my uh, source by going back and forth. Uh, I like a scissors to uh, cut off the end of the bag, and then a couple spatulas. Uh, I'm going to do the first bag, mix it up, and then I'm going to go do it. And then I'll reset up because I haven't got the time in order to go from here to there uh, without it kicking off in the bag. So we'll, I'll mix up one, and I'll go ahead and use it, and then we'll come back and I'll mix up a bag off camera and then I'll show you on camera how I do it. Uh, better than what I did uh, on the uh, first video because I was having voiceovers and uh, with still photos and that just didn't work. I want to show you up close and personal how this actually goes about. Okay, I've got the cup filled up. I wasn't going to waste any time showing you how to do that. But you want to go back to your measured containers. This is a, a two ounce of uh, part A and one ounce of part B. Uh, it's stiff material but it has got liquid in it so if you you'll make it go quick like quicksand and it'll settle down to the mark and then you just bring the green part B up to this mark and then mix. Okay we've got our mix going here do a lot of scraping on the bottom, scraping on the sides scrape your stirring stick several times, get it all mixed up, give it a good two minute mix. Probably your first time out doing this I wouldn't mix this much, I would be probably go with uh, one ounce of A and a half ounce of, uh, uh, of B. Okay. You're going to turn this over on its side and you're going to twist the cup with the stick in it and it's going to pour out just like a cement truck. Scrape it down not too hard where you're going to tear the bag. If you're only going to do a little bit, then I would go ahead and clean the uh, cup out. These are completely reusable. I'm not going to stick to everything. Lift the bag out of the container. Kind of squish the excess down into the. Remember, epoxy when it's when it's joined together is going to kick faster than if it's spread out on its own. So want to get laid out and work quickly so pull a little bag in through and tighten it down. Now you got your own little squeeze container of epoxy filled uh, or wood filled epoxy that you can go out and uh, start doing your fillets with. I'll cut the end off with a tape and squeeze it out and then move it along with a popsicle stick. We'll get to that later. I gotta go now. I can feel it getting warm in my hands. Okay we got our little bag. We're gonna start down at the bottom and lay out a bead. You can see how it's coming out of the, uh, the little bag. Try to get it as smooth and consistent as you can. It's almost good enough to do right there. I also have plastic around. Lots of plastic. Now we'll bring our stick in and just slowly bring it along. I got more than I needed there. But I'll use it. Take your excess and start filling in the groove along the seat or any other place where there's excess material. Now take your putty knife and just kind of windrow it back. Take that excess and either scoop it to someplace new where you know you're going to need it.
try to be observant of all the little uh, drops that may be forming. Rough spots along the seams will tend to make it hop, skip, and jump. I could have cut the plywood wider and trimmed it down, but I know I always have this kind of material left over. And it adds a little strength to the joint. And it gives me something to round down for uh, the glass tape the rule of glass tape does not like to go over a square edge. You get a little bit of a radius so those glass fibers can conform to it and you'll have a good edge. If it's a straight 90 or a hard edge, even if it's an angle, if it's got a hard edge on it, uh, the glass fibers will tend to stand proud and they don't want to and they will not adhere to the um, plywood close to the edge. And so you get this little hump. It's actually a soft hump because underneath the epoxy glass that's cured, uh, there's nothing to support it with. So close on this seam here. You can see how it's coming out of the bag. I probably got more than what I needed here. So I'm going to stop. Get your popsicle stick and depending on the where it's at on the uh, stern panel I got done doing or I just finished doing uh, I needed to have a smaller radius because of the angles involved this one was going to create a huge deep fillet that was just going to be a waste of epoxy so I went to a smaller diameter and if you've done this a couple times you'll know the angle to hold the stick at come along fairly soon after and get as much of the uh, fill material and sticks off the edges. And if you come in with a rolling motion you can kind of pre-round it amount of sanding that you're going to have to do. This putty knife has a, a burr on one side, almost acts like a cabinet scraper, which really makes it great um, for um, pulling the, uh, the easy fillet away from the, at the end off. Finding that take take your time when you're doing the fillets, and uh, I was putting too much on. Just take it on and pull it along. some uh, fiberglass tape around that spot. Uh, that'll be it for this, this section and uh, when we come back we'll be uh, putting in the uh, fiberglass tape along the seams and then once that's done it's just a good sanding and then uh, we'll paint the interior. Let's devote.